Blog Talk Radio.
go, we can go anywhere, you just see the day, we can go up to the A and hit up Cascade, I'ma sweep you off your feet and make you roll away, just like the road skate and you know I love Chicago, hoping you gon' go when I go, yeah, that's my dream, we gon' pull up to the Mars with the King Skater, she was like, people still skate, I'm like, what you mean, come with me, I'll show you some facts, the Yo, it's your boy DJ 9D, and I'm here to let y'all know it's going down September 25th between 7 and 11 p.m. at the Studio House Atlanta. Yes, Hook Up Atlanta is back. Mr. Hanky will be in the building as we rock to twerk later, wobble, living my best life, and more. It will be filled with live performances from independent artists, vendors, food, drinks, industry professionals, networking, and more. For tickets or to learn, visit AtlantaMusicIndustry.com. That's music with a Z, not S. Pre-sale tickets will be available. And yes, Kicking the Old School will be in the building, so come hook up with us. You're listening live to On The Move Unscripted with your host, Patricia M. Goins and Mr. Stout on www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash Patricia Goins. Call in now. We're live at 516-387-1247. What's going on? You have tuned in to another episode of On The Move Unscripted with Patricia M. Going. And Mr. Stout, what it do? <laughs> so that first commercial is actually an old commercial. <laughs> My finger slipped and hit the button. You understand? That's why I call it unscripted. Y'all understand? Because I am bound to make a freaking mistake. <laughs> but Hook Up Atlanta will be back, and we yeah. will be back. We'll oh, be yeah. planning that. And Hook Up Ohio. We're planning, oh, yeah. you know, to do Hook Up Ohio. We're planning to do some things, right, Mr. Stout? Oh, yeah, for this year. Yeah, yeah, 2023. You already know what's going to be on. Why are you looking all tired? That's because I am. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> you had to bear with me, yeah. job is kicking my butt. Yeah. He's a working man. Hey, that's what we do, artists. You know what I'm saying? We still got to hold them J-O-Bs, you know. You know how that goes. Right. What's going on, California in the right. freaking building, baby? Hey, <laughs> I had such an amazing time. Yeah. Um, it's unfortunate that the event that I originally was going to go for mm-hmm. go to um, uh, ended up getting canceled, un- right. un- you know, unfortunately. But I was just like, I'm not going to allow that to damper my joy, right. and I was still planning to go, and I'm so glad I did. Like, I truly understand now the, the importance of having faith. Even when things look like they're not going to work out or go in your favor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had such an amazing time. Um, I actually got to interview uh, an amazing art um, author, um, Sherelle Warren Stout, mm-hmm. about her new book, Who Is He? Right. And so you can actually, uh, there's links um, in Blog Talk that I placed to the video, to the um to the uh, interview, or you can go to my YouTube page, which is Miss Goins 1119. Right. But she and she was also my tour guide. Right, right. Showed you what's going on out there. Yes, yeah, she did. And, uh, she took me around LA, Atlanta. Hollywood. I mean, what did I say Atlanta? She, see what I'm LA. saying? Where am I at? <laughs> Let's open up the phone line. Maybe that'll help me. All right. <laughs> yeah, she was on the line. What we got Hello, here? Hello, caller. Yes, yeah, so 49C for your number? Yes. You were in California, darling, Westwood <laughs> and Long Beach. You was in L.A. You was all over. What's happening? Oh, yeah, my right. God. Oh, my. I'm so glad you called me in. Lady I am so glad you called yeah. I got so 
Me and, and uh, Mr. Stout uh, introduced me to Miss Crystal like mm-hmm. some time ago right. on the Zoom and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But we had never met in person. We talked on the phone. Right. And I remember the first time we talked on the phone, you played the piano for me, Miss Crystal, and I started singing to you playing the piano, just uh, playing around. And I was just like, you was like, you got to come out here so we can, you know, do some things. And I'm like, I'm coming, I'm coming, Callie, I'm coming. And so <laughs> I got the opportunity to go. Yeah. And let me tell you something. She she had her grandbabies with me. Her grandbabies got me at the door. All right. <laughs> It was love at first sight. When I first walked and knocked on the door, and I think her daughter entered the phone, and her kids came up, and the the three year olds uh-huh. instantly hugged me. I said, nice. "She didn't already. She gonna get all the cookies, candy, uh, ice cream. <laughs> she she got it. She got it. They had me up there dancing around, doing um, dance around the rosy and freeze. <laughs> I thought I was back in elementary school. <laughs> all right, cracked up. It was cute. It was so. Cute. And my daughter told me, she said she was so happy that was one of the best days that she had had in a long time. So that was very, very, very good because, you know, wow. our, our, parents, our young parents and young children, they suffer these days from a lot of stress. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and then she's being, you know, a single mother. And, you know, just not having the fathers in the children's lives, it wears on her. Yeah. And then sometimes it wears on me. And I'm like, oh, Lord, so I'm constantly praying for her and the children. But that day was really a blessed day. And I'm so thankful that you were able to come there because it really made a difference. And those children, they love to be active. They love to sing. They love to dance. They love people. And so you coming there was just, hey, hi, <laughs> just the highlight of my life. So thank you so much for that, Ms. Patricia. Thank you very much. You can see it that was, in the video, though. It yeah, was so happy. Huh? You can see it in the video, like, the, the, they were really happy children. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. They got me to do it. And, and, and mind you. We didn't tell them, all right, we want you to class, or we want you to, you know, say, yeah. we didn't tell them nothing. We, maybe we would tell them, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> but they were just, like, naturally part of it. Like, they could feel the energy. Miss Crystal, that I didn't watch that video, I swear, about 50 times, I promise you. Like, it's so deep to me. It was so, the energy, God was in the room. You hear what I'm saying? Right. I agree. There's something, and and see, this is why we need each other. People don't realize the importance of being together because you can be with your own family and friends all the time, and it's just, oh, here she go playing the piano again, or there she go singing, or there they go. But someone else coming into that presence, they sense a whole different thing. So it's very important for us to really network and get out and meet other people, get with other people, because that's who will appreciate you, people who have not experienced you in that sense. So I thank you for that, because I'm so used to doing what I do, girl. It's like, okay, praise the Lord. Okay, what's next? But for you to have received it as such, that blessed to me. And I'm like, wow, Lord, you know, I can't be taking what you gave me lightly, because it blessed. You know, it, it, it just brought happiness and joy to you. And I was glad to be a part of that because, I mean, I love music. And I love to work with other singers and musicians because I feel that there's a synergy there. And when we're able to flow like that, you create new songs, new 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 things come. So we need to do that more often. That's so really true. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You are gifted. There is no what God bless you. When I say God bless you with a gift, all you told me to do was, you know, sing, hum, sing something so I can catch your, so I can catch your tone. And so as the video starts off, and for those of you who you haven't seen it yet, you can go to YouTube. It's on my YouTube page, Miss Goins, 1119. But she just was like, just, you know, just let me, give me a note. And so I was just like humming, and she automatically started with with just creating 
you know, yeah, the I'll sound get, that yeah. would that would go with with with, with me. Like the pitch and and when she did that, the only thing that came back to me that rushed me was that experience on Seal Beach. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's like I have been pr- I have, I have been telling people ahead of time like you know I'm going to California I like and I feel like God got an appointment for me I feel like I'm supposed to be on the beach I feel like God's gonna meet me on the beach I just felt like the beach had to be a part of this trip yeah and so I ended up mm-hmm. making it my first stop when I got there that day on Friday I was tired but I was just like I'm gonna just you know go by the beach and I remember picking up one of those um um daily prayer booklets mm-hmm. from work before I left yeah. on you know on Wednesday or whatever, and I just had it with me. So I was just like, I'm just going to go to the beach. I feel like God, God is going, something's about to happen on the beach. That's how I felt. Yeah. So I was like, well, let me read something. So I took the journal with me, I mean, the little booklet with me, and I went up, you know, trying to figure out where to sit. I ended up finding some rocks and looked and said, oh, my gosh, the sun is setting. Mm-hmm. You know, and it was so beautiful, yeah. the bright, you know, just watching the sun set. And there were other people who were experiencing this as well. Right. And so when I open up the, the Daily Bread, it's about, it's a story about being on the beach. Mm. You know, it mm. describes the waves and, and, and this experience that these two people had <laughs> sitting on the beach and watching the sun. Mm. And so at wow. that point, I'm like, wowed by that because that yeah. wasn't planned. None of that was planned. Right. And the whole topic was be still. Yeah. And know that I am God. Mm-hmm. You know, and that mm-hmm. that covered the whole trip. Be still. Trust God. Things may not always go the way you think they're going to go. You may have this plan, but God might got another plan. Right. But don't worry about it. Just be still, walk the course, and know that he is God. That was, And so you brought that song to me with, with, with the notes just it just came mm. and I was just like I could feel it I was crying I had tears I don't think you knew I was sweating a little bit but some of that was tears I was like oh God don't even start crying on the bag on the I said all right you know I tell you we really need more of that to heal that's the inside seeking healing and to be, you know, the body seeking its healthy uh, moments. And this is what the world really needs. So, you know, we're supposed to be going on a tour. You know, that's something I've been talking about for years, going on a tour, doing my music. And it hasn't really happened yet. <laughs> but I'm feeling this this season, this time, we, we almost have to just, like, take that time and make it happen because look yeah. at the world, look at the condition of the people in the world. And I will say this. I was doing a um, a layover in Texas um, at the end of last year, around uh, November. And I was waiting there, and I found I saw a piano in the, in the airport. And I sat down and started playing the piano. And after a while, you know, I got up and started walking, and this guy was starting to walk toward me. He says, wow. You really did all this on the piano, and I have a vibe about. He just started talking, and I was like, "Wow!" So today we're still friends. <laughs> wow! Yeah, that's the and, power you know, people, of it, right there. Yeah. Yeah, people stopped and was dancing, and and was oh wow, you know, could really change the environment and the atmosphere. So I'm gonna say this to you, sister. It would be a dynamic team for us to just take a couple of weeks and travel. And make sure we know, and and before we get there, there's a piano waiting. And so we can just just go in and start playing the piano and singing and watch the people change their vibes. I I, I would love to do that. That sounds awesome. I I would love to do that. And they got cards and stuff. It's like she knew. It's like she just started playing, and the words just came. And then especially uh, this is our moment, oh, my gosh. When she started that, I, I think my my whole body was shaking. Like, oh, what's that? No, she didn't. All right, you know. And I and it's so funny. I was like, okay, your turn, you know, Crystal. And so I thought Crystal was gonna do the song all by herself. You know, I was ready to be cheerleader. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she looked at me like, uh, this is our moment. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me open well, up the song. song. All right. That song came to me in the year of 2000, 2000. Mm. And so I've been playing it all along, you know. And I, I I have, you know, kind of tried to record it, but it just never seems to come out very well, better live. 
And mm. so it has the has the you know the background things. You know, so I so I generally you know start that, and if I'm with people or audience, I get the audience singing it. And 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 believe me, it does touch people's hearts. This girl, she came up to me with saying, "You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been through." And that song just like answered all my questions because I had them singing it. And right. um, it's it's amazing. So you know, music is so powerful, and we cannot take this thing for granted. We've been given a gift. You're writing. Miss Patricia is phenomenal. You write so plain and simple that it touches. I look. I said, "This girl writes like me." You write with. Oh, like, this is I right can there. Give her a copy of um, while we open our. Um, um, are you ready to open your gift from God? Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. You and like it, huh? It's like, yeah, I love it because you know sometimes you you're trying to read people's books and it's like, huh, what they saying, what they talk about, you know, and. I, but just reading that, it's like it just grabbed me like like it was me talking to me. And I'm like, look at this. And then the scripture, Isaiah 61, I'm like, that's my scripture. That's in my stuff. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> so, it's so it's so unique how we really are on the same page and level, I feel, spiritually and with our talent. So I really believe there's something in our ministry um, thing that we God wants us to do, and we really need to just say yes, right. Lord, you know, and just go because we don't know what we're going to change in this world. We don't know who we're going to touch, and so I believe we I'm just need to just I'm say, in agreement, like Patricia, like I never, you know, I knew God said, has put in my spirit that new people will start entering my life. You know what I'm saying? So I understood mm-hmm. that, new connections or whatever. But, and, 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 you know, you and I have been talking a while, and I'm not going to say I didn't connect with you, but, you know, you was cool. Like, Miss Crystal, yeah, that's Miss Crystal, you know. Mm-hmm. But when I met you mm-hmm. in person and you sat down there, first of all, some grandbabies got me first. They they got me at the door. <laughs> and then us sitting down together, it was like, it was so natural. Like, you, uh, it's like, I automatically knew when to come in. You automatically knew when to come in. It's like we didn't try. It, 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 was, it, was, it wasn't forced or anything like that. No, it was like it's magic. Natural. Let, yeah. let me, let me open yeah. the phone. Okay. We got the phone line it's open up as well. On the move, unscripted. So what we got over here? Um, Carla, you have 694 in your number? 694. You on the air. Who are we talking to? Six nine four. I'm thinking that's um. I'm thinking that's Miss Sherelle. Is that Sherelle on it? Um. What is? What did you say? The numbers? Because you said. <laughs> I, I didn't know. What, know. what did you say? The lottery is your number. <laughs> okay. I didn't. I. I guess I. I had missed something that you said with the numbers. Yeah. This is Sherelle. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Miss Sherelle? Did you and um and Lady Crystal did y'all ever connect? Because I know I gave y'all uh, each other. I, been, I haven't yet. I've been quite busy at work. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow when we're off. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, I'm here. I'm here now, and she sent me your number too, so I'm responsible for that call too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just. It's just been very hectic at work, so I'm trying to wait till um you know. I, Tomorrow we got a day off because it's Cesar Chavez Day um, in okay. Southern California. Yeah. So that will be a better day for me to, you know, make calls and things of that nature. Yeah. That's cool, sis. Well, yeah, because uh, I definitely want to get the book. Yeah, so Miss Miss uh, Miss Sherelle Warren Stout mm-hmm. uh, actually uh, wrote a book called Who Is He? Mm-hmm. And I actually got a chance to interview like i was saying interview her right um i had some unscripted moments in the beginning y'all don't don't you know don't 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 judge me (laughs) (laughs) for a reason but yeah she um very gifted uh writer and you and you and miss sherelle grew up together yeah yeah grew up in the same place actually that's the house on the the top of this book right here like that's what our house looks like it's similar to that yeah yeah uh, Avery Park, New Jersey, in the house. All right, don't get us on. Yeah, Sherelle, that's what's up. I mean, I, I I really wanted to get out there myself to meet up with you guys and stuff. Um, like for the next trip, definitely going to see to it that we you know we all get a chance to get up together again. You know, make something happen. Okay. Maybe if we got the piano, I could bring the drums too with uh, Miss uh, 
Chris Bill and Scott. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love. When she bring out that piano, it's over, y'all. It is over. Oh, Mr. Falcon played a show. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, wow, we're going to have to go over to Lemur Park to the um, Fernando Pullum Center. you got a set of drums up there and a grand piano. you waiting on okay. it. So I, I had the opportunity. Uh, Ms. Sherelle definitely took me around town and, and allowed, you know, we went. I, 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 poor Jay, I'm sorry, Ms. Sherelle. I know I was dragging you all up and down California coast. <laughs> no, it was okay. I'm like, let's go here, let's go there, let's go there, let's go here. So you guys actually went to Sherelle's, to Sherelle's church? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went to my church. Where was the church at? You want to give the church a shout-out? It's in Inglewood. Um, it's 1009 North Market Street in Inglewood. It's called Chapel of Peace Lutheran Church. You know, it's right in the neighborhood that I live in. So um, we um, went to church, and then at the um, service, we did the interview um, that Patricia just alluded to, and then that's when we, after that, we went, you know, all the way to different places, you know, tourist sites, Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, we went to mm-hmm. past Paramount Theater, and then we also went to um, Warner Brothers um, Studio. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was dragging it all up all and down. I mean, Paramount yeah. Studios. I said, I meant to say Paramount Studios, so Paramount Studios, and then we went to um, Warner Brothers Studio, you know, just driving oh, nice. around. Then yeah. we went out to eat. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but um, my book, Who Is He? It's a coming-of-age book, um, so most of it's true. It's about my life growing up um, from the 70s, early 70s to the mid-80s or late 80s, and it's basically from that time period, 70s and 80s, so there's pop culture references, historical references in the book, and that question, Who Is He?, is basically about the theme of the book, like, that's question keeps coming up in relation to the protagonist, which is me. All right. Was, was Kenny in the book? Was he? <laughs> um, everybody's not in the book because, like I said, um, it's not completely, a, it's not a nonfiction book. So what I did, some people are a composite. Some people are just mentioned, you know, briefly. So when you're developing a book and, you're, and it's a nonfiction book, you're not going to necessarily have everybody who is connected in the book as a character. So there are right. some people who are in the book, you know, some classmates. Um, there are people who are in the book that are composites, as I said. Um, two of the main cat, main characters, along with my, my character, which is not my name, but the character's name is um, Elsher. But two mm-hmm. of the other three characters that are along with her, they're all composites of other people. So yeah, maybe, so not one person becomes so like people you. Will read it and no, I'm talking about you, and I'm talking about him and her and them. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing about it is it will be like a composite. People will recognize themselves in the, the composite. And then there's people yeah. who is it's actually, you know, people I grew up with, classmates who I got permission to use their actual name. So I used their name, and then those I wasn't able to get in contact in time, things of that nature, then I just used a different name. But anybody reading the book who grew up in an area, will be able to recognize, you know, those people. Yeah, right. so it's a coming-to-age book, like I said, and I believe that people from my generation, um, we call it um, Generation X and even millennials, people younger than us, will enjoy the book, and even people who are from the baby boomer generation, which would be have been my parents and people of that nature. Right. I believe it, it's a message that anybody can relate to. Yeah, so all around good book. So now they also they, is it available online or they still have to like yes, you my book is, to yeah, my Yeah, who is he? Is available on Amazon. You can go through Amazon to order the book. It's also in it's in paperback as well as in Kindle, which is um, I believe the price is nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the ebook. Or if you want to get the paperback, it's about twenty two dollars and ninety five cents. It's also also you could offer um, order it through Barnes and Noble as well. And in next month, I will be having on my <clears throat> um, agenda a book signing at USC in April. So I will be putting that on my Facebook page and my Twitter page so people can get some more details about that particular um, book signing that I will be doing um, on April the 22nd on a Saturday. So okay. what's, what's your um, social media? Um, what's your social media? Oh, your my, Sherelle, yeah, Sherelle Warren Stout. 
You can look me up on Facebook. I'm the only Sherrod Warrens out there. And you can also look me up on Twitter. I also have my book on Twitter along with the video that goes with the um, book so people can have an idea of, you know, what the book is about just by looking at the little video that was made through Krishna Faith Publishing. That's the people who have published my book. You know, so just put in Sherelle Warren Stout on Facebook, and at that time, draws near, I will be putting up the details of the book signing for at USC so that people will actually be able to come to that if they're in the Southern California area. That's great. Because, um, uh, and I know that yes. people are also doing, like, audio books. Are you, are you, like, are you going to yes. be putting it in no, audio? I'm not doing audio right thing. now. I'm not, not yet. I'm going to do that maybe later, but right now it's just the digital book, you know, the e-book. Right that they can get mm-hmm. through Amazon and Barnes and & Noble, or they can actually buy the um, soft-covered book for, on twenty two ninety five. And like I said, the e-book is $9.99. So, no, I don't have an audio at this time. That is something that I more than likely will do down the road, but not right now. But those okay. are the two options that people do have, yes. Yeah. That's great. That is awesome. Well, I definitely – the one thing I will say that I, I, I saw right off the bat um, – in California or L.A., and I don't know if everybody has an experience, but this is definitely an experience I had, is that the local businesses were very open, you know. In yeah. fact, I, told, I promised um, RBM Salon that I would give them a shout-out. Okay. And they're actually located at uh, 5373 Wilshire Boulevard. It looks like they have two. two oh, that, okay, well, hold on. So RBM Twist. Is located at 5373 Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. Okay. And then RBM Salon, which is probably, uh, is 5376 Wilshire Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. They really opened up. Like, I walked in with my flyers. And I was like, can I pass out some flyers? And they was like, yeah, go ahead. Right. And it was, it was a nice size salon. Mm-hmm. A lot of different, um, you know, um, stylists and stuff. Yeah. And she was like, go ahead, pass it out to everybody. Get, hey. Hey, y'all in the back, did y'all get one? Like, they were giving me that kind of love. I said, that's exactly good. And then there's a little Caribbean Soul Kitchen. It's called Caribbean Soul Kitchen LA that's right next to it. Um, and it's located at, uh, where was that? I had it written down. Oh, 53, 54 Wilshire Boulevard. So it's right next right door. Okay. And they let me pass some flyers, too. So that was the cool thing that I, I saw in L.A. was that the businesses didn't have a problem with me, you know, coming in and passing out flyers. Because, you know, mm-hmm. some places you go in there and they look at you like you can't steal something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they don't want you to leave nothing because they, they act like you're about to leave a roach or something. Like, no, you can't. You know, yeah. it's, everybody's not welcoming, you know. But in L.A., my experience was they were very welcoming. So um, have you gotten a chance to, like, pass out flyers about your book in different establishments in L.A., uh, um, in the surrounding areas, well, Sherelle? Um, No, I didn't have flyers. Um, I had flyers um, early on when I was doing book signings. So, you know, I did have it for that, and then I did those events. You know, because this book has been out for, um, you know, since, you know, 2019. So initially I did have flyers for book signings and things of that nature. But now what I'm doing, like I said, is the book signing that I'm going to do um, next month and the fact that the, if my book is on social media and I always direct people to where they can actually purchase the book, you know, since all the physical copies that I had, I had already sold out those copies, you know, almost two years ago. Oh, okay. I know that if you yeah. ever plan on South, um, the Nubian Bookstore is always oh, yeah. open for yeah. uh, doing book signings. Um, it's been, and I don't have the number right in front of me, but you can reach out to us, me, or you can look at look it up online. But it's the Nubian Bookstore in Morrow, Georgia. Um, they used to be inside South Lake Mall, but then they got their own establishment, and it stays busy. And he's and he's very open and welcoming to um, okay. authors, you know, authors. Yeah. If you ever want to make that trip uh, to Atlanta or Metro Atlanta. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. And I'm so glad you called in. Uh, like I said, I, I truly enjoyed, um, uh, you know, our day on Sunday. It's like I had it all planned out, right? It was like, okay, Friday is the beach. Saturday I went to a, a women's conference, right. women in the music industry. That was mm-hmm. pretty cool, too, okay. in L.A. 
And um, I actually got to pass out flyers and actually, um, you know, uh, watch some different performances, which I'll be uploading some of those um, later on in the week or whatever. And then after that, it was uh, uh, me and Sherelle, I mean, me and, um, and, and Lady Crystal, and that was just like the ultimate um, day for my Saturday. Like, I, 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 it, I wasn't no more good after that. I was, I was just like, that's, 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 that's it for Saturday. Yep, yeah, wrap it up, go on. Because it was so beautiful to me. Like, you know, it was raw cut. The kids, the kids, at one point, we were, you know, like, hey, I'm going to need y'all to sit down. They was like, all right, all right, then. We're going to wait till a little later to come back. <laughs> but it was so beautiful to capture the realness of the whole thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? The babies, when they started clapping, and you don't know, Crystal, I told you when we were up in your daughter's apartment, and I think I was playing another song or something, and I was like, if them babies like it, you got a hit. That's what I remember saying. I was like, if the kids like it, because kids, their spirit is open, and, and, and if they and if they jump around and loving something, you can best believe it's a good, you know, it's good, it's a good song, whatever. So when we went down to down to where the piano was, and they start, they just was clapping and hey, yay, and and, then, and and it was from not from us telling them to. They was that was a natural response, yeah, feel, yeah. and they were doing it at key moments. That, like they were really feeling it. Right. Don't you think so, Crystal? <laughs> yeah, they were very obedient to you when you told them to uh, uh, go back and sit down, and they didn't even stop. They went right on over there. <laughs> that was that was I had to feel it in a sweet way, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, they don't want to be down here. You don't want to be down here with us, huh? Y'all want to be down here? Go sit down. <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool because they yeah, did, they and then did, the baby girl, the Richard, the three-year-old, she was really into it. And when we started, she was hey, all that. And when her and her big sister got up and started coming back to the piano, I see her come up and pull her out, kind of like Apollo did with the with, with, with the head, you know, the little ring. Yeah. She started pulling up. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, was so funny. that was such an amazing experience. And people, that's that's really there's no footprint in the sand for the yeah. next generation because your grandchildren, they go back to that 20, 30 years from now, you know what I'm saying? Or when they have children, they'll still be able to be like, I was three years old, I was five years yeah. old, this was my grandma, I was doing right. this. Like, yeah. I got it for I ain't got it. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be a great, this is a great, great thing when you can really put something like that in the children's lives. They, you know, carry it for a long while. So this is a great opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. You know, I had, when I was doing the movie, This Can't Be Loved, there were two young children. They were about the same as about three and five, and they were in the movie. They were in the movie of This Can't Be Loved. Um, and those children still, the parents, they still remember me. And they ended up going into drama class and they got up Because, you know, it's been a long time since mm-hmm. I filmed that. Yeah. They are now, like, about to graduate from high school, on the way to college, and they're major, they majored in drama. Yeah. And so they pursued that. And every once in a while, I get to talk to them in a Mother, and they still remember me. They were only three and wow. five. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, that's like the world of engineering and mixing. I've done worked through a lot of different, like the youth, when I was going to perform at art school and I had a studio out in Townsville, New Jersey. There were kids that were coming over, they probably like 11 years old, like you know, and then they, by the time they were adults, they still remember me. They called me back after years, like, well, I was. I work. I work for this company. I do this. That kind. Of, it it does like you know that reflection right there is definitely dope when you see something that you you, you had put a, a stamp for somebody's life like that and they like it, it worked for them to go to that direction. That, yeah, that, that's 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 and that's good. Yeah. children. Yeah, you get that impact on them. Yeah, that's 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 amazing. I, I would love to do a tour with you, uh, Miss Crystal. That would be like so much fun to me because I I, I can I, I can first of all I know. God will be the head of that. So I know that wherever wherever we stepped our foot, it's on and popping. Right. <laughs> it's on and popping. Well, let's start putting it together and you know making sure we can uh, get it all in order. I, I would love to. I'm. I mean, it's it's. I was going to say that it still is. We still a few days in. Um, uh, Women's History Month and things of that nature. Um, 
Lady Crystal, do with some of the things that you have that's going on that's coming up um for your way for this this month or into this for this season? Well, you know what, Seth? Thank you for asking. There is something on Friday I'm actually scheduled to do a show from two to three. And I'm just featuring um, the ladies and this specific one. So we'll be featuring, you know, your book and the one that I have. And just give me the I don't know if you can see that. I can't really hear you. Say that again. No, I just was saying I have a show scheduled for Friday the 31st in Lemur Park at Morris Media Studios. And I look forward to featuring you, your book, and actually Sherelle as well, because um, there are definitely women on the move <laughs> and right. uh, other women here in L.A. Uh, some of the ones you've met on the Zoom, uh, Go to Work, Michelle Farrell, she has so many books. Yeah. And uh, Lorraine Haddon with the uh, Housing Advocates. And um, Ms. Raquel, just women that are doing things may or may not have a book, but whatever they're doing, it needs to be uh, told and needs to be honored. That's going to be going on this Friday, so I'll make sure I send you the link to that. Oh, yeah, that's, that, it's going to be on the Zoom? Yeah. It's going to be on the Zoom? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I work Friday. Yeah. Ah, what yeah, we'll time? Still, we'll still participate in this. What time? If it's going to be, what's the time? It'll be home. Oh, three? Oh, is it at three? I know. 2 p.m. Yeah. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Our no, time. I won't be. I'll be at work. Yeah, yeah, going going to be recorded. If it's recorded, we'll get it. Are they going to record it so I can watch it? Yeah, it'll be recorded and it'll um, air on uh, YouTube. Okay. What what YouTube? Mm-hmm. You know what YouTube site it'll be on? Morris Media. Morris mm-hmm. Media Studio. Yeah, we you said Morris. 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 M O R R I S. Okay. Media yeah. studio. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's awfully amazing. I, darn, I wish I could be there. I, I definitely. L.A. Y'all don't owe me nothing. I am not lying. Y'all, <laughs> with y'all treating me the bomb, Jimmy. I love y'all. I, you know what I'm saying? You know, Atlanta has always been my love, my stomping ground. But now I'm at it, L.A. I got oh, yeah, Chicago. Right. Come yeah. on now. All oh, around the world. That is it. I'm so glad. I just wanted to um, do this show real quick, just mm-hmm. to kind of like thank you, uh, Miss Crystal. Thank you, you know, Miss Sherelle, and then everyone in welcome. LA that just made my trip awesome, awesome and amazing. Thank you, God, for always honoring. You know, my prayers and making, you know, my experience awesome and amazing. I'm talking about there was no hiccups, no issues, no nothing. I got, to, you know, when I got there, my Airbnb was bomb diggity, you know. Mm-hmm. I got a rental car that was great on gas. You know, I haven't had a Mitsubishi Mirage since that was my first new car, and that's okay. what I was driving. But, yeah, I, up and down the coast, no, there was no issues, no problems. It was an amazing trip. Even the people I sat next to, I sat next to a photographer, um, and she actually bought a book. She also actually bought my book, too, Are You Ready to Open Your Gifts with God? And another lady, too. And the thing is, I was really just kind of giving them out, but one lady wouldn't let me. She's like, uh uh-huh. Wow. How much it cost? And I was just like, well, I'm just, you know, I'm not really trying to. She's like, ah. She said, people, we always <laughs> give stuff away. You took, you took your, your hard-earned time to create that. How much it cost? And she paid me for it. I had two people pay me for it. But it was amazing. I had a, I had a, I had a great time. Ellie, y'all don't owe me nothing. I'll be back when I. The sunrise got me. The sunset. I mean, the sunset got me. I, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. That's y'all beautiful. make sure y'all go and check out um, the interview that I did with Miss Cheryl Warren Stout on. Um, I put it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she okay. probably has it on her Facebook page. Or whatever. Definitely check it out because she goes into more detail about the book and and her writings and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then definitely go check out the video that me and Miss Crystal did. I promise you, it is so powerful. Yeah. That I think that's the only words. And even though I might my voice might have been a little dry here there or whatever, which I you know I always say I don't care. Y'all just listen to the words. <laughs> But it was just like a beautiful, beautiful experience to me. And I feel like the authenticity of it trans 
transfer from from mm-hmm. you know from across the screen. Right. I really yeah. feel that. You, yeah, know. you can see that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely check it out. You said it's on uh, Patricia Goins' um, page. Which one? Yeah, it's uh, if you go to my YouTube page, it's Miss Goins eleven nineteen. All right. Um, and then also, you know, my album is out. I now have yeah. USB uh, flash drives mm-hmm. for all the people like I don't have a CD player. Well, now you don't need one. What's your excuse now? Come on now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can um, get a USB flash drive for my album, The Journey. All. 15 songs are on there, and you've only heard a few of them. So the other ones are just as good. Definitely right. I encourage everybody to check it out. Um, you know, support me. You know, support independent artists. Support Miss Sherelle. Support Miss Crystal Like mm-hmm. so, and, and those who are like us. Like, right. we need your support. You know, we know mainstream is out there. You can go to, you know, your Barnes Noble and get your mainstream published authors or whatever, but there are many talented independent artists authors. There's mm-hmm. many talented musicians, right. independent musicians, uh, and it's independent artists of all types, producers, everybody. Right. Like, support the independent movement. Yes. Because it's going to be a lot of, it's been a lot of money that's being out there being made, almost more than what the record labels are making due to the independent. That's why a lot of artists and uh, people who are entrepreneurs in writing and, and the arts um, are definitely making their way and it's a, it's a, it could be a struggle but once you get to where you at where you need to be you'll see like the you know the hard uh like you'll see the difference of your work out there you like you'll see that you know it, it's important and it's good to get back to tangible items this is what i yeah. tell the artist oh, yeah. um I'm me doing record. my my usb uh, oh, flash drive mm-hmm. and my cd like and people are like cd let me tell you something i did research right and we went across different cities uh we was in jersey mm-hmm. we was in philadelphia yeah. i was in columbus we was in atlanta right. you know what i'm saying and you know i'm a promoter wherever i go you gonna know that i'm doing something out of out of I would say if I if I reached out to ten people, right, in a particular city or whatever, at least six of them still have a, a, a um, CD, CD player, player in their car right, because right. the older cars, mm-hmm. people still drive those cars that were created after 2020, you know, yeah. 2018, 2016, 2015, you know, whatever. So a lot of cars still have CD players. Yeah. They sold 46 million CDs last year. Right. People still buy CDs, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Mainstream vinyl. don't and want vinyl. And vinyl. Mainstream. Sugar Hill's like in 20 to 30 years of that record, Sugar Hill getting the message. And it's out there right now, and it's on vinyl, and it's doing very well. A lot of records that were done are being redone again out there. You'll see that, you know, throughout the years. People are, re, like, re-getting new re- Old records are being redone again, remastered. And the people are selling, so they they recharting again. Yeah, because they're going, they're getting back to tangible items because they know that these streaming services are full of BS. I think I confirmed <laughs> that the album just went diamond though, something like that. For real? Yeah. On uh, streaming or no records? Itself. Records. Yeah. yeah. That's two I million records. Yeah. I, yeah. People are the 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 recordings. The labels know this. Yeah, they just don't want y'all to know it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's why they're doing that. You think old they, movies, old books, they yeah. all that stuff all over because it's like, you know, it's um like like you said, like Sherelle said, it's on, like you can get it on Kindle. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you can read a book on your phone. You can, you know, or actually have, you know, the tangible item of having your book in your hand. Like, that's stuff like that. People like like doing that. And plus, we're going into the spring right now. So now it's definitely people going to be outside more, you know, things of that nature. And, um, you know, to have that stuff, it's, it's good to have it. Like, you want those, those keepsakes, you know? So that, that's the kind of thing I like. If I get a record or if I get a book or I get something, I want to be able to have it so I can yeah. always go back to it and say, oh, I remember this right yeah. here, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Can't do that with a stream. You can't do that with a stream, y'all. Once it streams, it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I definitely, um, but I appreciate y'all once again. I appreciate you, Miss Crystal. I appreciate you, Miss Sherelle. Um, you, even though I was so disappointed that the original event was canceled, y'all really just made my heart sing and, and, and really just made my trip so wonderful. You know, every, every aspect, God just, he let me know what happens when you trusted him. You know, I have faith in him, and that's why I had to sing that song 
so amazing because God is just so amazing. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. To me, it's just like you got to trust him. You know, you got to have faith. You got to believe. So, um, Miss uh, Miss Crystal and Miss Sherelle. If Miss Sherelle still on the line. Miss Sherelle, you still on the line? Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm okay. here. So I would like to ask each one of you individually to please, um, of course, give your social media and then give a word of encouragement, wisdom, knowledge, whatever it is that you want to leave on the hearts, minds, and souls of the listeners today. Let's start with you, uh, Ms. Sherelle. Um, uh, give them your social media information again, where they can get your book, and then leave some words of, of wisdom or encouragement for another author or whatever God puts on your spirit. Okay. Um, yeah, my social media is my Facebook, Sherelle Warren Stout. Also, at, I'm at Twitter and Instagram under Sherelle Warren Stout. And um, what I leave for advice for you, this is for writers, right? It, writers or whatever, however God leads you. If writers is what you oh, like okay. to talk, speak to, speak to the writers. Okay. So my thing is always make time for God, even if it's just five minutes a day. Make time for God. <laughs> what I mean by that is pray, you know, study his word. All right. You you know what? Before before we go on to before we go on to Miss Crystal, I just want to say with me and Miss Sherelle, we really bonded by um talking about different scriptures. We yeah. we really we talked about uh Job and she really explained to me some different things that I didn't understand because I was like just like, you know, Job was holding strong you know, for some chapters, right? Uh, when, his, when everything happened to his kids and his family and all that kind of stuff, he was holding strong. And, and even when it started happening to him, he was holding strong. But when he got in front of his peers, mm. you know, when there's people, you know, is it, 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 and today's thing, I would say his Facebook friends and Instagram friends and everybody, you know, right. when he got in front of them and they saw him suffering, they started judging him, that's when his face started swinging, mm. you know, kind of like from left to right, right, you know, and so we, me and uh, Miss Sherelle was talking about that, and, and I feel like we really bonded on there, and she gave us some information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank, you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, you know, I I am just thankful, you know, to, just to hear that, because, I mean, that's definitely what I do on a regular basis, because it's so much going on, and I, me being a mother and a grandmother, I'm constantly, you know, reaching this is out, Lord. Now, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And so, just to hear that, and for anyone else to hear that, it's very important to take time out for the Lord and be able to hear the Lord um, speak to you, because it's very important for us to have a relationship. So, I'm thankful. You can reach me on OurLadyCrystal.com, O-U-R-L-A-D-Y-C-R-Y-S-T-A-L.com. That's my high page. My phone number is there. My email is there. My website is there for Million Dollar March and some songs. Things are there. I appreciate Bobby Buck for um, putting that high page together for me. And my words of encouragement would will be um be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might and put on the whole armor, you know, your helmet of salvation, your breastplate of righteousness, your sword of the spirit, your shield of faith, your loins girded with truth, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And that's how you can fight these battles that attack your mind, attack your body or anything. You know, you're you're fully suited spiritually knowing who you are and whose you are. So those five minutes, you know, make sure you take the time to put on your armor and know that your armor is on and praise the Lord for your armor. Amen on that. I I love that. Your turn, Kenny, because I know you got some stuff going on with Unfatable. What words of encouragement or inspiration do you have um, for the listeners? Uh, Well, you guys can find me on uh, Ken of Stout at Gmail dot com if you want to email me or ten us out seven one at gmail dot com and then you can see me up on Team Beach Radio on Facebook, all the way across the board, Instagram, Twitter. I just got switched to. But um my word of encouragement is you have to believe in yourself as well. Put the trust in God, but also trust your into that God is going to bring you for your what you need to be to where you need to go if you believe in yourself. Some people don't have um they don't believe in themselves. 
They need some, you know, they can believe in a lot of things, but they don't have enough belief in themselves. If you see that, and regardless of this goes across the board or whatever that you might be trying to go through, you have to believe in yourself, have enough that God believes in you enough that you can believe in yourself to go out there and make these things happen where it might be. I've seen people who are really down on their luck, and they, they did a whole 180 by believing in themselves and where they can take it to, and that's what I think that we all have to do, and regardless of what it may be, because there's a lot of things that are going on in these, these times. If you're watching what's going on in our, our culture and, 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 our, and what's going on in the world, you can see that a lot of things are topsy-turvy right now. So, you know, you have to, you know, see through the glass and see that it's clear, you know, even if it's like, you know, wash off that window so you can get a clear picture, you, you know, so you can definitely believe in yourself. I, I really, because I believe myself a lot of things that what I've been through, I, if I didn't keep the faith, but also believe that I could make these things happen, it wouldn't come into fruition. So I def, that's the, the word of advice that I have. I say just definitely try to believe in yourself and have encouragement with somebody, a mentor or something, have that in your, you know, and good people, good friends, and get a good circle. You know, yeah. So um, my name is Patricia M. Goins, and you can follow me um, on Instagram at Patricia Marie Goins or on um, Facebook, Patricia M. Goins, or on YouTube, um, uh, Miss Goins, MS Goins 1119. And my words of encouragement would be, when you feel like you don't know which way to go or you feel like you don't know exactly what to do, those are times that you need to be still. And going out into nature, going out into the park by yourself, you know, maybe with a journal, or going to the beach, you know, and just sitting by yourself, finding that alone time, you know, where you can pray and be one with God, be one with nature, and then let the Holy Spirit lead you. Like, sometimes we're so ready to go here, go there, do this, do that, 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 that. We're rushing through. We're stressed out. We're all this stuff. Sometimes you just got to stop, and you got to stand still, and you got to find that oneness with God so, you'll, so you can hear his voice. And when you can hear his voice, that will give you – a, a lot more courage than you know, you know, because, you know, we were all created with gifts. We just haven't all tapped into all of our gifts, mm-hmm. you know. And in order to tap into those gifts, you got to you got to be able to spend some time, alone time between you and God, you know, and just let them minister to your soul. So go to the park, go to nature, go to the beach, mm-hmm. go, you know, go somewhere where, where there's trees and grass and, you know, you can hear the birds chirping and just steal your mind and let God minister to your spirit, especially when you're in a state of confusion and you don't know exactly what to do or which way to do do it or how to do it. There's a lot of good information there all the way up. Yeah, yeah definitely. So as we get ready to roll out, you remember Eugene Hunter, the gentleman that passed away, yeah. the jazz player that yeah. passed away before we 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 met. We, I got to do a Talk phone conference, right. conference with right, him. Right, but now he can't on the air. Yeah, when it was time for him to actually uh, do his interview, he ended up passing away before due to COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I have one of his songs that I want to play. Okay. Um, Eugene Hunter. But I appreciate y'all definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, Miss Crystal, come on, let's do that tour now. Oh, oh, LA, LA California, yeah, right. Long Beach, and all the places all around. You know, I didn't know what colors to wear out there. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to stay neutral. <laughs> like, uh, where, 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 no, maybe not, maybe the blue one. I don't know where, where. I'm just stick with green and yellow and, and purple and stuff like that. But I had fun. It was a bomb. Diggity was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Can't wait to get a chance That's to come amazing. out there. Amazing, yes. The yeah, next time I come, Mr. Stout, is like, Mr. Stout ain't going to let me come no more by myself. He, he, he He's like, he's been trying to get to California for a long time. He'd be darned if I could yeah. just make three or four trips before he make one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I I just appreciate y'all. Much love, yeah, to y'all. So much. You know, and um, until next week, y'all. Are you doing? Are you doing? Um, on um. Uh, we will be back on that week of the seventh. We're gonna be doing some things with um, uh, go to work and you know the the future billionaires or with uh Michelle Farrell. So that that the Friday she'll be on, and then that Saturday I'll be on. So okay. we're gonna be on. Yes, yeah, so I'll be like April eighth. Yeah. 
Well, you're going to be on what? On, I'll be on Spreaker, on Spreaker.com slash Steam Beach Radio. We have that uh, official now. Yeah. Okay, good. And the website man. is coming as well. So, yeah, guys, we, we're working. We're working. Yeah. Peace and love to y'all. Thank you so much. Much love okay. to y'all. That's beautiful. Bye-bye. All right, peace and love. Peace and love. That's right. Peace and love. Peace and love. Bye-bye. All right, yes. Bye. Bye. All right. God bless. Turn it up.
Me and you are gonna be down for the long ride Girl, I had a feeling that The way that you touched me never made me feel so alive I'm gonna dive right into your body, no I won't lie Legs in the air, I'm taking you there, I'll run my fingers down your spine Never a day I'm spending away, wanna be with you all the time you're the first thing that I think of when I wake up, baby, and you know how to make love. I don't want to leave your side, I got your back, I know you got mine. Look in your eyes as you're staring at mine. Give you the ones over and over again tonight. I see the figures and figured out you were the one who was right. Cause you keep it 100, yeah, you keep it 100. You got me coming back. I want your body on mine You take me to places that You make me feel right uh-huh. Yeah, you've been so real with me, baby I'm head over heels with you daily No, no one could do it like you Not everything's better with you This unexpected kind of love Must be sent from up above Just hold me and don't let go of me, love Look in your eyes as you're staring at mine Give you the ones over and over again tonight I see the figures and figured out you were the one who was right Cause you keep it 100 Yeah, you keep it 100 so Look in your eyes as you're staring at mine
I'm not playing. Need to go with this and go with this with no delay and see. In actuality, one that can it be? I made it look easy because it is to me. Anytime capacity was filled, tried to rock it. Anytime a honey gave us play, tried to knock it. Never was a fool. So we finished school. Never see us sweat and you'll never see us cool. Out to rock the globe while it's still here to rock. Don't punch girls and we don't punch a clock. Gotta go, gotta go see a lady by the cat. And you can't beat that with a bat. You can oh.
look on this body, man. These scars tell a story. These tattoos, nigga, they run into the store to give you the image of I come out of these eyes up with these tattoos. It's funny how they say that they got you. And still with my body, I still love them, though. Don't go way bad like a fishing boat. No, my mama know I'm selling, but I'm selling coke. Pay two for the bag, I'm make 44. But my brother incarcerated, but selling dope. Drop them bags to annoy you just to bring them home. Every time that he calls, I give him more. Give him more. Remember back, get in the day, we'll share clothes. Come and keep his head up, cause he coming home. Coming Motherfucker, home. the judge, yeah, you know they doing the wrong. Got the shit up in my head, gotta get it out. Yeah. So I put it in it round, I gotta get it out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm really in the tub, moving pot of salt. I don't put them in my business, cause they like to talk. Just like them business, yeah, they run their mouth. Bitch. When I run into the money, I need a big amount. Yeah. Hope it take me from the way I need a Cause this shit up in my life, it just ain't going right The rest up on his head, I sacrifice I be thinking to myself, like that shit ain't right nah, nah. Got these demons on my bed, I can't sleep at night nah, nah. Smoking all this weed, they help me dead, right? I cover all these scars up with these tattoos It's funny how they say that they got you And still with my body, I still love them though Don't go way bad like a sister boat Blow my mama know I'm selling, but I'm selling coke Pay two for the bag, I'm make 44 Put my brother in concentration, but selling dope Drop them bands to a lawyer just to bring him home I bet you're paid up in that verse, I know you feeling right Even though I fuck, bitch, you ain't my dice I did some shit up in my past, I can't take it back I can't speak up on that shit, but no, I'm speaking back And my brother, brother, yeah, you know he vouch for that Take some shots at us, you know we bust the bank. They say I'm hard as fuck on beat, just like some crap. <laughs> and the other rebel cap like a snap back. Good I told for me good girl, man, they come back. Good I day. can't chase after you, you know I'm chasing check. I told on chain, girl, you better make the same you. Hey, and when you. I'm up, girl, I'm gonna make the same me. I'm about to take the rap game like I'm Jay-Z. I do it for my mother, daughter, and my brothers. I swear to God, and I love them like no others. I told my girl, I'll be a patient, just enjoy the rap. I cover all these guys up with these tattoos. It's funny how they say that they got you. And still with my partner, I still love them, though. Don't we go way bad like a sister phone. Blow my mama, no, I'm selling, but I'm selling coke. Pay two for the bag, I'm make 44. Bring my brother in concentration. Now I'ma tell you this, every scar on me was earned, every tattoo tells a story, nigga. So what's yours? Sell up, you got something Perfect. 
the hell out your way, make it your own. Now you feel me, I'm in the zone. I 
my veins. Look, it's a whole lot of hate around me. It's a whole lot of things trying to down me. And everybody was a bitch until you found me. With all the jokes in the world, you couldn't find me. I'm still rapping the same gang. All the money in the world couldn't change. Make sure you change lanes. Kick back, cool and blowing propane. Won't steal my soul, man. All I like to do is blow propane. Just switch my lanes, man. But I can still rap gang. Beef on the internet. No, no, I will not get into that. If you looking, I'll be where the sim is at. Keep on capping, you gon' get your seat away. Yeah, I'm with it, look, cause yeah, y'all that. I got youngers that pull up in all black. You got a problem, I saw that. Got the fat, now your boy got the ball back. And I still got a lot on my mind. Run into me, I run off every time. It ain't nothing to put a hole in your spine. You listen to yeah, they way out of line. So dirt on my name. Sorry, but we not the same.
answers. My daughter fighting cancer when the law got the answers. answers. We got all the questions. Right. By faith in him forever, I just pray that she gets better. We can do it. He took us from the royal house to the mansion. Yeah.
Tennessee whiskey. You're a sweet a strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Oh. And I stay strong. Say one more thing. I'd look for love in all the same old places. Yes, I did. Found the bottom of the bottle. Always This is your boy, Bad Boy Billy Sly. Whether I'm just chilling in the studio or kissing the leading lady or out on the street promoting our new CD, Kenny G. Wall of Bass, no matter how you play it, I'm down with Patricia and Mr. Stout on On The Move. Unscripted, baby. <laughs> 